Dynamo interim head coach Davey Arno. Uh, Davey, first of all, congratulations on the win. Uh, team obviously came back from a goal down to, to pull out the victory. Just uh, talk a little bit, if you would, about um, just your thoughts on how the game played out and how the boys played tonight. Um, yeah, so before I start, I just uh, I want to take the chance to, to say uh, you know, our, thought, our thoughts are with everybody in the Houston area affecting, uh, affected by the flooding again. Um, I think it's really important that we mention that, and it's good that we can get a win um, to kind of lift the spirits a little bit, which I think is important. And uh, on a personal note, just that you know, my thoughts are with uh, the people of, of Southeast Texas, the Beaumont, Nederland area from my hometown, uh, where my wife and I are from. We have a lot of friends and family that uh, flooded again, which is, is obviously unfortunate. And it puts things in perspective in a week like this. Uh, it's been a tough week, but uh, but our thoughts are, are definitely with everybody uh, back home. Um, about the game, uh, you, you know, it's not an ideal first half. It's obviously not a good start for us to the game, right? We we can see it on a set piece, um, which has been an issue for us this year. We haven't been uh, as solid as we need to be on set pieces, and it's a huge part of the game. So it's something we need to do. We need to do a better job of and. Um, you know, so we conceded the first goal, and the energy was a little low. You know, I thought all across the board, uh, we had some good moments in the first half, but overall, the energy uh, and the way that we were playing, we were trying to force balls centrally when it wasn't on to play. Um, centrally, at times, we needed to play wide, and um, the first half wasn't great. But you know, we had a, we had a talk in the locker room at halftime. We we made a, f a few adjustments about the way that we wanted to uh, to attack, um, and I thought the approach and the mentality in the second half was. Uh, was really good, and for us to come back uh, to get the two goals and win the game, I think it, again it shows a huge amount of amount of character from our guys. And, and for me, uh, it's extremely important. The response is is big time, and the three points is uh, I think well deserved uh, in the end. Richard Dean, Houston Chronicle. Can you talk a little bit about Memo Rodriguez's impact on the game? Yeah, I thought Memo was uh, was a really really big positive impact for us tonight, uh, which I'm happy about. Uh, you know, I challenged Memo a little bit in the last few weeks. Uh, he wasn't uh, maybe as sharp in the last couple games. And, and Memo uh, is obviously a player that we believe in a lot. Um, when he's coming in the game, we expect him to make an impact, not just offensively, but, but, but on the other side of the ball as well. And I thought he, did a, thought he did a terrific job, and he provided a big spark for us. I think he's a reason that, uh, uh, that we get back into the game the, the, the way that we did. Hi. Yeah, congrats. That's uh, two wins in three games now. We need to stop now so you can have that 667 percentage, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned it already, but what, what is it that you're doing? You don't have a lot of time left in the season, but first half have always been kind of a hit and miss, a lot of misses. And then you did talk about the set pieces, and you guys have had so many corners at home. I mean, I mean, you had 21 game a while back. What is it that you can do different that you see that is it you need a specialist for those corner kicks? It just seems like a lot of wasted opportunities. Yeah, you're right. The, you know, set pieces are they're a big part of our game. They're a, a high percentage of goals are scored on set pieces. So, uh, you know, for me, number one is the service, right? The service needs to be good. And uh, at times it was really good tonight. At times uh, it wasn't. Um, but that. that hit or miss as long as we're trying to hit the right ball the one that we're looking for uh, that's what what matters uh, secondly the uh, guys understanding roles and responsibilities so clear roles and responsibilities on set pieces of what we're trying to do uh, the runs that, that we're trying to make um, those two have to be uh, perfect every single time and it's something that we control and it's something I think that, that we can do better um, you know we're continuing to challenge and push and say hey listen these are these are the roles that we're looking for on set pieces and some nights yeah, you get two corners or two free kicks, and you score one or two. And some nights you get 20. I don't know how many we had tonight. It felt like that many. I don't know the. It was 13. Okay, it felt like more than that. Um, but I thought some of the service was really good. Some of the movement uh, was pretty good. We just uh, didn't have the end product, which uh, we'll continue to we'll, we'll continue to address. Uh, Davey, it seemed like Morrow was doing plenty of damage. What led to your decision of subbing him out? Yeah, so I think it was, uh, you know. We were obviously in a 4-4-2 with Mara and Christian playing high together. Um, you know, we felt like uh, bringing uh, Tomas Martinez in the game uh, to play wide for us and move it outward high. It gave us, it made us a little more solid in the midfield. So when we're talking about our defending in our two lines of four, um, I think 
you know, Tomas Martinez is maybe uh, stronger defensively than Albert is, although I will say that Albert, the work that he did tonight uh, was fantastic on both sides of the ball. You know, I'm asking, I'm asking a lot more Albert defensively, um, and he's bought into it. So uh, we just felt it was a good adjustment to add uh, Tomas Martinez, who brings energy defensively. He's been good for us. He's obviously good with the ball when we need to maintain possession. Uh, and then moving Albert high just to have his threat of, of pace in behind, uh, it made sense for us at the time. I, I don't want to make this a long-winded question, but um, you're kind of in the middle of trying to figure out what's going to happen with you. I think you have quite a few of us here who are rooting for you, but how do you decide on what to worry about for the rest of the season? Obviously, uh, politically correct is yes, we try to win every game, but at some point it probably benefits you to trot out everybody and essentially put everybody in a tryout and then just kind of prepare for next season. And I mean, how does this play out for you, right? Because you're kind of caught between future versus present, which is... Yeah, no, it's a fair question. And listen, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you uh, in my answer. Um, you know, when I first took this role, uh, I said to myself that regardless, regardless of what happens at the end of it, what can we do every single day to affect the club and the team in a positive way? Um, so you know, it doesn't matter if I'm going to be here for nine games or nine years. It did not ha it, I said, I'm not going to change the approach and what we're trying to do. Uh, and when you're trying, when you have that mindset and you're looking to really build something, you do things the right way. You, you stick to what you believe in. Uh, uh, you, you demand certain things from the group that you ho hold, uh, you know, as, as what your core values are. And that's, that's what I've tried to do. Uh, I've tried to instill that into the, t into the team. And if that ends up being nine games, it's nine games. Uh, if it's nine years, like I said, it's nine years. But it has not changed my approach uh, one bit. I'm going to still continue to do the same things. Uh, as of right now, we're still uh, we're still in the playoffs. Uh, we're not officially out yet. So my my focus and mindset is trying to win games, right? So putting the team on the field that gives us the best chance to win games. Now maybe that doesn't mean that you see all the players. You know, there's some guys that are going to be left out. Uh, that's the decision that I have to make. But uh, in this moment now, I'm, I'm making the decisions that give this team the best chance to win the next game. And that is my sole focus. Hey, Coach. Could you talk a little bit about Beasley's play and his work rate, uh, tracking back, breaking up a few counterattacks, and then on the other side, um, starting Adam at right back, not his natural uh, position? Yeah, so uh, I thought DeMarcus had a really good night as well. He's, uh, he continues to impress. Uh, you know, DeMarcus has so much quality and he's so important to our group. Um, I think that kind of goes without saying. Um, and obviously he has the respect of all the players, but he had a good night tonight. Uh, his work rate is fantastic. He still joins the attack. He still, like you said, breaks up plays defensively. Uh, I thought he had a really good night. And, you know, I, I don't expect anything less from DeMarcus, to be honest. That's, that's, what, he, that's what he shows every single day. And uh, I thought he had a good night. Uh, as far as Adam goes, uh, it's not natural for Adam to play as a right back. And, um, you know, I, I had to talk to him this week. I said, listen, it's not, uh, it's not ideal for you. Um, but I know it's a job that he can do. Uh, he obviously, uh, he's an outside back. He's used to playing on the left. Um, it looks a little different. So during the week uh, earlier, the, the chance we did have to have to practice, we practiced him out there so he can at least see it. But you know, I think having Adam there uh, behind Albert, uh, I think it provided us a little more uh, stability and organization on that right side. Um, you know, obviously Jose is a natural right back, and I thought he, he had a good game in Vancouver. Um, you know, but he, he's still new. We're still trying to trying to adjust and fit him into what we're trying to do. Uh, and Adam, you know, has been around and he understands Albert and he understands what we're trying to do a little better. So for this game, that that made uh, that made the most sense to me. You talked about the importance of, uh, of Albert and what you've asked of him. He was on a goal drought since July. Um, how important was it to get him back on the score sheet? It looked like Morrow there was maybe a little bit too unselfish on one of the opportunities, and, and it looked like that was the focus of, of today's game as well. Uh, it was, yeah, it's important for Albert to get back on, on the score sheet. Uh, he's happy when he's scoring. We're obviously happy uh, when he's scoring goals. But um, you know, I think regardless if he's scoring goals or not, the, the threat that he, that he poses for other teams is, is real. His threat of uh, pace in behind. Uh, him on, in one v one situations are obviously very dangerous, um, but I thought you know I thought he deserved the goal tonight. I thought his work was good, uh, and like you said, I'm asking I'm asking more of him maybe defensively, um, but I think you see now you see that he we he sees I see that he can do the work defensively while still being dangerous and still scoring goals, which for me is uh, is really positive.
You touched a little bit about it, about when the ideal first half. But can you talk just a little bit more about how the team, you know, continued to play, didn't quit, getting down 1-0 and having those two goals? Yeah, um, it can be tough, you know, when, again, um, uh, when you get when you concede like that at home uh, early in the game uh, and then you don't respond right away when you have chances, it can be tough coming in at halftime. And, um, you know, we were just a little – it was like the air was sucked out of us a little bit in the first half. You could feel it. I think everybody felt it. But we, we had a good talk at halftime. Um, the guys came together and said, OK, we understand we need to be better in the second half. We made a few, uh, you know, a few adjustments in terms of how we were, how we were attacking, which I thought brought us uh, some success and made us dangerous in the second half. thought the subs came in and made a positive impact. So you put all that stuff together now going into the second half, and, you, and the result is uh, you know, two good goals and, and three points at home, uh, which, uh, which is important. And again, the, the character of the guys was great.